I'm just a minute. Oh, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? What is this, what's up? Mom, uh, like, mom, uh, you give third question, no, mom, um, A1. What do you say? Read the question, bitte. Um, yeah. Mom, uh, I think it's two to uh, eight, no, mom. That thing I have doubt. Read the question. Which is the question? Read out the question. Mom, third question, um, two to eight. Two to eight uh, in your homework? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, what, what is the question? What are you asked to do in that? Please read the question once. Um, ma'am, we need to uh, solve it in fraction, ma'am. Peter, what is the question asking? Can you read out the question? Ma'am, for that, I need to live once. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know, I don't have now, from where have I given this question 2 to 8? It must be this, what fraction of a clockwise revolution does the hour hand of a clock turn through when it goes from, like this, 2 to 8? What fraction of an hour hand? Okay, if it is this, let's see, um, uh, wait, I'll share my screen. Okay, are you all able to see? Are you all able to see the screen? Ma'am, I can see your screen. Yes, okay, this was... Okay, your page. Let me just take out your page. Now the question. Now suppose this is a clock. Okay. Now the clock is asking the fraction of a clockwise. You are, you are saying the fraction is asked to find out. So what fraction of a clockwise revolution does the hour hand of the clock turn through when it goes from 2 to 8? 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Now it's saying my clock is, in the hour hand of my clock is here and the when it reaches Please, eight, so that means what fraction Please, has it covered? Yes, good evening, beta. So it's asking what fraction is has it covered out of the whole fraction, out of the whole 360 degrees, what fraction has it covered? So that means I told you three gaps. One, two, three. Three gaps is one ninety degree. Is that? Yes, ma'am. Three gas is 90 degrees. So, yes, Charvin? Um, yeah, ma'am. Ma'am, I have I same. Three gaps is, huh, so, three gaps is... Huh, this, I'm tell, ask, telling you only. Three gaps is 90 degrees. So, till here, till 5, it's 90 degree. 190 degree angle. And from yes, 5 onwards, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8 is another 90 degree. Angle. So 180. Yes, so 90 plus 90 gives me 180. So this much portion 
in a clockwise direction the uh, clock is covering okay so 180 by 360 is 1 by 2 that means 1 by 2 yani ki half fraction the clock is covering when it uh, moves from 2 to 8 you got it yeah ma'am okay and how do I say, no one asked me, how do I say, why do I count these three gaps as 90 degrees? Nobody asked me this. Ma'am, because, because 90 degrees Ma is because 15 minutes. 90 degrees, 15 minutes. Okay. Ma'am, can I say, ma'am, can I say? Ma'am, also, one gap is equal to, uh, what we say, 30 uh, degrees, ma'am. Ma'am, can I say? Yes, yes. Because like from the middle point, if we put a strand layer, uh, yeah, we have to divide in half, then it will become a right angle. Like when it should come back from thirty, uh, from three to six, it will be a right angle, and six to nine, then nine to twelve because uh three three like yeah three divided by twelve will be four. So. So in a whole like a whole angle, there are four ninety degrees. Okay. Now so see can... children, listen. Everyone listen. All your answers are correct. Listen now. Listen to my explanation. Now see, I have here four lines. Is it four spokes are there? One, two, three, four. Have you seen a cycle wheel? In cycle wheel, so many spokes are there. Is it? Have you seen that? Yes, ma'am. Everybody must have seen a cycle wheel, no? So, so many spokes are there. So many, so many, you know. There are ample number of so many spokes are there. So, if I ask you, what is the angle between each spoke? The how will you find out? How will you find out this? Now, see here. In the clock, I have how many spokes? One. I've just made a clock. This is not a clock. Okay, I've just made something like a clock. These are four spokes. One, two, three, four. Okay, forget about these numbers. Okay. All these spokes are, you know, standing straight on each other. Now, if I have to ask, what is the angle between the two spokes? What is the angle between this? What is the angle between this? What is the angle between this? This. So, how will you find out this? The, I know that my complete circle is 360 degrees. Is it? Okay. And how many spokes are there? One, two, three, four. Eight. Four spokes are there. Okay. So, I okay. divide by four. 4 nines are 36 and then 0 is 90 degrees. So I got the angle between the two spokes. You got it? Ma, I'm done with my homework. Um, Ma, I'll send it after uh, this class. Where will you send the homework? Ma, in WhatsApp. No, no WhatsApp homeworks to be sent. Okay, that's yeah. just for your practice. It's only the test that you send me. Okay. If you yeah. have any doubt, you can ask me in the class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so everyone understood now? The angle between two spokes here is 90 degrees, right? And if I'm asked to find out, suppose you have uh, what uh, have you all seen the flag of India? Yes, ma'am. Yes. There is a wheel in the center. How many spokes it has? 24. 24 spokes. If I asked you to find find uh, what is the angle between each two spokes, between adjacent spokes, what is that? How will you find out? How will you find out what is the angle between the adjacent spoke? Adjacent means the one next to it. So, to find that, what will you do? Look here. I know that the complete circle is 360 degrees. Okay, yes. I will divide this complete degrees with number of spokes. Okay. Where are you going? Okay. So whatever you get your answer, that will be the answer. That will be your final answer. 
you can divide and see how much you get yeah ma'am okay now if i tell you here this is a circle you have eight spokes here ma'am we'll get 15 answer okay 15 great very nice now you have eight spokes so one two three four five six seven eight now what is the angle between each spoke find out the angle between each spoke ma'am yes. it is Mom, um, now is it 45? Okay, 360 divided by 8. 360 divided by 8. Check out. Mom, no, 45 is correct. Okay, yeah. 45. Okay, that's nice. So now you know how to find the angle between the spokes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. so let's move further. Shall we move ahead? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, coming back to the chapter. We were doing um, exercise, I guess, 5.2. From 5.2, we just started. Yes, we had 5.2. Okay. Let me check who all are there. Afan is there. Chavik is there. Sritej. Adrit is there. Can you bring Adrit? Good evening, ma'am. Okay. Now see this, what fraction, the same question, kind of question, okay. The, what fraction of a clockwise re re revolution does the hour hand of a clock turn through when it goes from, tell me about this, 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Make it in your notebooks and quickly tell me the answer. What fraction has it covered? Ma'am, 3 by 4. Okay, very nice. 3 by 4, good. Others? Adrit, what you got? Ma'am, 3 by 4. Yes, good. Ma'am, 3 by 4. Yes, good. Okay, let's move to question number two. Afani, what your answer? Ma'am, uh, is it three by four? Yes, it's three by four. How are you now, Afan? You were not well yes day before yesterday. Like all was, but this time I didn't got the fever. Like it will be like six hours there, six hours not there. So it is the time not there. In the morning I had so now I don't have. Okay, in the morning you had fever. Yes. Okay, take care. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Now, question two. Where will the hand of the clock stop if it starts at 12 and makes half of a revolution clockwise? Now, where will its clock is saying the hand of the clock is starting from 12 and it has to complete half a revolution? Where will it stop? Where will it stop? Quickly give the answer. Oh my God, the Are you saying 2A? Yes, 2A, this one. Oh my God, the answer. Yes, tell me, Adrit. Ma'am, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock, very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the clock starts from 12 after uh, making half a revolution, it will come to reach 6. 
Okay, now it starts at 2 and makes half of a revolution clockwise. Mom, 8. 8. Great. Okay, now Charvik will tell me. Starts at 5 and makes one fourth of a revolution clockwise. Mom, um, one minute. On six, I think. Why six? It starts at five and makes one fourth of a revolution clockwise. Now see, this is the clock. It is starting from five, and it will make quarter revolution. Quarter revolution one fourth means how much angle is this? One fourth is ninety degrees. I am a degree yes. after. Uh, so, it, uh, in, in the clockwise direction, it's making 90 degrees the angle, one fourth revolution. So, where will it reach? Then it one gap, then second gap, then third gap. Where has it reached? From eight. Eight. From five to eight, it has reached. Okay. Okay. Now, Afan, you tell me this. Starts at 5 and makes 3 fourths of a revolution clockwise. Uh, 5, 6, then 7, then 8, then 9, then 10, then 11, then 12, then again 1. Ma'am, will it stop at 1? Mm, 1 or 2? Yes, ma'am. One or two? A one. Two, one. Yes. Now, now see this. Now it's moving from here. Three yes. gaps. One, two, three. Ninety degrees. One, two, three, again ninety degree. One, two, three. Where has it reached? Oh. Oh. Okay. So ninety okay. plus ninety plus ninety. Okay. Okay, ma'am. So how much is that? It, the answer 70 is seventy by three sixty. So this is three fourth of the revolution. Okay. So we have got three fourths of the revolution. It has reached two. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, next. What direction will you face if you start facing east and make half of a revolution clockwise? Now, see, coming to the direction part. See, uh, the top direction I'm taking north, south, and on the right side of north is east. Then rest this side. Okay, you must remember these directions so that you can do the sums. Now, which uh, you are you you are facing towards east. You are standing here and your face is towards the east direction. Now, after making half a revolution, where will which side will you be facing? West. West. Yes. Half a direction means exactly opposite. So that means towards west. Now, if you are facing towards east and you make one and a half of a revolution in the clockwise direction. Oh, like I'm west. I'm west. Okay, in the clockwise. So east means one and a half means one complete revolution coming back to the same point and then take half the revolution. That's west. Okay, now you are facing towards west. Now your face is towards west. You are standing here only. Your face is towards the west, and you make three fourth of a revolution anti clockwise. Ma'am, it will be south. It will be south. South, okay. So and uh, three fourth. This is one fourth, then another one fourth, then another one fourth. Okay, so that's south. Now, last one. You are facing south and make one full revolution. You are facing towards south. Again, you make one. Full revolution. I'm south. South. I'm south. 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 Yeah, south. Here, anti-clockwise or clockwise does not matter. 
because whenever you take a complete revolution, you reach at the same point. Okay. Okay, now what part of a revolution? Question number four. What part of a revolution have you turned to if you stand facing east and turn clockwise to face north? Now, how much part have you uh, moved? I'm three by four. Okay. You are facing towards east and turn east and turn clockwise. Yes, three by four. Okay, in a clockwise direction. Okay, next is you are facing towards south and turn clockwise to face east. Your face is towards the I'm south. 3 by 4, 3 by 4. Uh, let others also answer. Others also please give your answers. Your face is towards east and you turn clockwise to face east. Clockwise to face east. So that's when you reach east, that means how much fraction have you covered um will it be a one one by two no real dear um yeah. you are, your face is towards east and you move clockwise direction and until you reach east so how much fraction have you covered this is one full uh, revolution not one full revolution one full revolution is completing the circle see this is first part one fourth this is another part one fourth. This is another part one fourth. So three fourth. Um, three by four. Mom, where did you say from? Did you say from east or west? Oh, sorry. This is second one, not this one. Okay, south. Okay. This was B part. You were standing toward uh, facing towards south. You turned clockwise. Is to face east. Okay. Mama, I told for a uh, C1. That's three fourth C of the part you have covered. Mama, I, uh, Mama, I told for C1. Mom, uh, Mom, will it be one by two? C. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Ma'am, uh, the C1 will be 1 by 2. Yeah, C1 is 1 by 2, ma'am. Oh. Okay, now see the next. Find the number of right angles turned through by the curved hand of the clock when it goes from. Now you have to find out number of right angles turned through. How many right angles will be will you be turning through? Okay, when you go from three to six. Number one. Number one. Okay, now here no direction is written. It's not nothing is written here whether clockwise direction or anti-clockwise. So that is Mom. Must consider clockwise direction. Okay. Okay. When, when no direction is mentioned, you should consider it clockwise. Clockwise. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay to six is one right angle. Okay. Number of right angles you have to say. Now two to eight will be Mom, two or right angles. Oh. Okay. Now Adrit will tell me the next. Five to eleven Adrit. Two. 5 to 11 is how many right angles? Mommy. I'm two right angles. Two. Okay, now 10 to 1 is? 10 one to right. 1. Mom, 1. 10 to 1 is how many right angles? 1 right angle. Okay. And Mom, this should be considered as, uh, Mom, I think this should be considered as anti clockwise. Why anti clockwise? Mom means a full bit we are doing uh, clockwise. Uh, so, Mom, I thought uh, something you are doing and clockwise and uh, something you are doing anti-clockwise. No, it's not by choice. Okay? okay, whenever nothing is mentioned, you must take it clockwise. Okay? Okay, Mom. 
generally in integers you have you must have seen when any number is written yeah. without any sign so generally we take it positive okay mom just can attach wait i'll ask each one i have to give turn to others also yeah. okay mom, there are only six people what happened mom there are only six people i know okay afan you tell me this Yes, 12 ma'am. to 9 12 to 9 how many uh, right angles will be covered from 12 to 9 one 12 to 9 one in clockwise direction on oh, clockwise direction one two three ma'am three okay see when no direction is mentioned here no clockwise or anti clockwise is mentioned here so you must take it in a clockwise direction okay okay ma'am okay ha ah. now the page will tell you 12 to 6 how many right angles ma'am two right angles okay great okay now next question how many right angles do you make if you start facing If you start facing south and turn clockwise to west, how many right angles will you make? Mom, so, can I? Mom, can I? From south to west. No, it's one. Mom, it's one. Yes, Ritesh, then. Mom, it's one right angle. Okay. Okay, north. Now, Charvik will tell me north and turn anti-clockwise to east. Yeah, ma'am. Um. Now it's mentioned here, anti-clockwise to east. Three. Ma'am, three. Okay. Ma'am, I actually I took a reference of clock. That's why I took the time now. Okay. Afan will tell me west and turn to west. Ma'am, it will take four. Yes, it's making a complete revolution. Adrit, you tell me. Mom, two, two. Okay. Next question, number seven. Where will the hour hand of the clock stop if it starts from six and turns to one right angle? Is this right angle? Ah, uh, it starts from six and turns one right angle. Now, clock always moves in a clockwise direction. Teacher, see, teacher, six. One right angle was okay. three. Three. Welcome, Pradesh. Three, 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 three. Okay, okay. But before that, I'm welcoming you. Welcome. Why are you here? Teacher, there was leave? there was no teacher. I joined at six o'clock. You were not there. I, I was at six. No, I changed everyone. You were not there. I was at six. But six is late. be on time okay so that's um there there uh, where you said where will it reach after one right angle ma'am who are you asking same videsh okay Next from eight. Now, in the if it if the clock starts at eight and turns through two right angles, where will the clock be then? Afan, tell me. Yes. Where will the clock stop if it starts at eight and takes two right angles? Oh, starts at eight. Two o'clock, ma'am. Two. Okay, Sritej, you tell me this. It starts from ten and turns through three right angles. Mom, one minute. Mom, is it uh, nine? Six, three right angles. Mom, uh, are you starting from ten? Yes. Oh, yes. one minute. Mom, can I? Ma'am, is it seven? Yes, seven. Okay. Now next, Adrit, 
Adrit, you tell me this. I'm seven. Uh, you start from seven and turns through two straight angles. Two straight angles means seven. Okay, complete revolution. Good. Okay, so you have done this much of the part. This was exercise two. Now, angles, acute, obtuse, reflex. Okay, we had gone through these angles also. Okay. See, about angles, I had told you, acute triangle is what? Where you have all the three angles, acute. See, all the three angles, less than 90 degree. And like, angle A, angle B, angle A, less than 90 degree. Angle B less than 90 degrees, angle C less than 90 degrees, is it? So that type of triangle is called acute triangle. Right? You can also say acute angled triangle and acute triangle also. And obtuse triangle, I'm just revising once before we do the exercise. Obtuse angle is where you have at least one angle greater than 90 degrees. At least one. Okay. At least one angle greater than 90 degrees. Are you getting? So that angle is called obtuse triangle. Obtuse triangle in which at least one angle is greater than 90 degrees. That's obtuse. Okay. In acute triangle, all the three angles are acute. So that's called acute triangle. In obtuse triangle, at least one angle is obtuse, greater than 90 degrees. Now you have right triangle. In right triangle, what you have, at least one angle is 90 degrees. If one, at least one angle is equal to 90 degrees. Okay? So that is called right triangle. You can also call it right angled triangle also or right triangle. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Uh, so let's do then. And reflex angle, you all know, all the angles greater than 180 degree are all reflex angles. Okay, let's do this match the following. Now straight angle. First read the options on both sides. One by one, I'll ask you. Adre, if you give me the first answer, straight angle. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, is it half of a revolution? Okay, half of revolution. Yes, that's right. Next, Charvik, give me the next answer, right angle. Yeah, ma'am. I'm um, between one by four and uh, one by two. No. For no. Yeah. Okay, Afan, tell me right angle. Yes. Tell me right angle. Where will you match right angle with? Right angle. Uh, um, right angle is going to be between one no option. Oh, okay. Ma'am, is it E1? No. It's D. Okay. Oh. Right angle is one fourth of a revolution. Okay. Okay, now Sritej. Sritej, you tell me third one, acute angle. Ma'am, it's A, less than one fourth of a revolution. Yes, less than one fourth of a revolution. Now, Hridesh, you tell me obtuse angle. Hridesh. <coughs> okay. Now coming back again. Adrit, you tell me obtuse angle. 
Yes, ma'am. Between one by four and one by two of a revolution. Very good. Okay, reflex angle of an of an demi reflex angle. Charvik, you tell me reflex angle. Ma'am, did you call me? Yes, I was asking you. Oh no, my uncle's call was coming, so I was giving my phone to my mother. Okay, ref okay. Reflex angle. Charvik, you tell me. Ma'am, can I? Wait, let Charvik say now. Mommy. Is Charvik reflex angle? Um, yeah, uh, uh, more than half a revolution. Okay. Done. Now, see next. Classify each one of the following angles as right angle, straight, acute, obtuse, or reflex. So, just by observation, okay, you don't need any protector now. Just by observation, you will find out, you will tell me which angle is this. Asking you one by one, Adrit, which angle is this? Yes, ma'am, acute. Acute. Why acute? Give the reason. Give the reason why it is acute. Your answer is correct. <coughs> Explain your answer. Yes, Adrit, explain your answer. Why did you say acute? Because it's less than 90 degree. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, now Charvik, tell me which angle is this? Deep ma, ma it's obtuse. Obtuse. Why? Ma, because it's uh, more than 90 degrees. And it's 180 okay. degrees. It's 180 degree? Can you, is it 180 degrees? Uh, sorry, mom, sorry, sorry. Uh, I was, mom, it's more than 90 degrees. Okay, next, Afan, C1. Afan? Sorry, ma'am, I was in, classify each one of the following. Uh, what angle is this? It is a right angle. It's a right angle. Why do you call it a right angle? Because it is 90 degrees. Uh, because the lines are standing straight on each other. It's making angle 90 degrees. Great. Good. Okay. Sritej. Ma'am, D. Mm -hmm. D. Ma'am, it's reflex. Reflex. Give the reason. Ma'am, because it's more than 360 degrees. More than 360 degrees? Ma'am, it's more than uh, 180 degrees. Oh. <laughs> okay. Next, uh, who's next? Charvik. Charvik, tell me what angle is this? I already got a chance. Never mind, I'm repeating the cycle. Um, Mom, it's a straight angle. Okay, it's straight angle. Okay, next is Afan. Afan, tell me what angle is this? Uh, it is going to be an acute angle. Hmm. Both. Both? Yes. Okay. Good. Let's move ahead. Now it's measuring angles. Now children, so far we were discussing the angles just by observation. Just by looking at it, we, we were giving our estimates. Whether greater than 90, less than 90, greater than 180, less than 180, okay? But now we are going to find the exact measurement. And that can be done only with the protector. Okay? With the protector. See, I don't have a protector here. Neither I can use it on the screen. But you must be having your book and your notebook. You draw your angle in your notebook and measure it. Okay? Do you know how to keep a protector? Or I'll show you. Do you know how to use a protector? Hello? Mom, uh, yeah. Okay. <coughs> how do you use? Tell me. Um, actually, we take a protractor and uh, we keep it on a page. Then uh, we just 
draw a bottom line and measuring the uh, what is it measuring thing what is it measuring this thing okay. <coughs> now see this is the protector here everyone look here how do you keep it now suppose some line is there okay i'm just drawing a line so the line okay one end of the line the starting point of the line will coincide with this point right and the line the line which is there you will coincide with with this line all right you will keep your protector like this on the line and suppose you have another angle like this say here then here another line like this so you will keep your protector and just check out where this line is meeting okay to which point now everyone be careful now see there are two readings when you are measuring angle from this side you measure like this from 0 10 degrees 20 degrees 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 90 like this okay then 90 uh, when we measure from left side we'll uh, count, uh, count the back side uh, listen now first so when you are counting from this side right side you start from 0 onwards and when you are counting from left side you start from 0 so wherever you start from you have to start from 0 all right okay see if you are counting from this side and if you have some angle here some line here like this okay so how will you measure the angle you will start from here so just by observing you can say this angle is greater than 90 degree so that starts from 0 like this and this you will reach to 130 but if you measure from this side it is an acute angle okay so every time you are asked to find the angle you this is the angle okay wherever you find this that means this is the angle which is asked okay are you understanding so whichever yes. side you measure from the you have to start from zero okay there are two scales 0 to 100 this side 0 to 180 this side and 0 to 180 this side okay let's do now okay let's see what is the measure of right angle let's answer this question what is the measure of right angle stretch Um, can I? Ritesh, what is the measure of right angle? Well, ma'am, right angle measure you are asking. Yes, yes. Ma'am, ninety degree. Okay. Uh, next, Charvik, what is the measure of straight angle? One eighty degrees. Okay, one eighty degrees. Okay, now two and false. Upon The measure of an acute angle is less than ninety degree. True or false? Ma'am, it is true. Okay. Next, Afan, tell me the measure of an obtuse angle is less than ninety degree. Afan, tell me the answer. The measure of an obtuse angle is less than ninety degree. Adrit, tell me the answer. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, ah. ma it's false. It's false. Okay. Okay. Adrit, tell me the next answer. The measure of a reflex angle is greater than one eighty degrees. Ma'am, true. True. Okay. Afan, are you there? The measure of one complete revolution is equal to three sixty degrees. True, ma'am. Okay. Now next, Charvik. If measure of angle A is fifty three degrees and measure of angle B is thirty five degrees, then measure of angle A is greater than measure of angle B. Is it true? Yes, true. I'm asking Charvik. Oh, sorry. Yes, Charvik. Ma'am, it's true. See, measurement of an angle is we write it like this. Okay, suppose this is some angle A. Okay, B is C. 
So measurement of angle A is written as measure of angle A. Angle symbol and angle A. Measure of angle A. Okay, we read it as measure of angle A. Okay, next is write down the measures of some acute angles. Can we can you tell me some acute angles? Just give me one or two examples. Abhi. 37 degrees. Adrit, you speak on your turn. Adrit. Yes, ma'am. 44. Yes, 44 degrees and? 35. 35, good. Charvik, quickly give me some examples of obtuse angles. Um, yeah, ma'am. Um, um, 135. Okay. One more. For me, okay. Uh, 120. Okay, good. Now measure the angles given below using a protector and write down the measures. So each one of you, please make these figures in your notebook and measure the angles. Okay, your measurements can vary whatever you make accordingly. Okay. As per your figures, your measurements can be. Now, please make these figures in your notebook and find out with the protector. Ma'am, but if we do it in our uh, like uh, notebook, it might not be exact as uh, in the text. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Your, your measurements will vary. As per your pictures, as per your drawings, so your measurements will vary. But my point is that you must learn how to measure. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Huh. Draw these figures. And, or if you have the same book, textbook, you can just, you know, keep it here and check. If you have the same book. Mom, I think. Mom, I think in uh, computers or laptops, they have a virtual uh, protractor. Huh, but I don't have it now. So you just make it on your notebook. Oh, can we take animation? Why do you want to take animation? Just draw Not the measure. figure in your notebook and measure it. And show okay. me. And show me on the screen in front of the camera. Um, okay. Ma'am, actually, I can't find my protractor. Who is this? Ma'am, Adrit. Be quick. You can make the figures and write down your measurements in the chat box, okay? For A, what do you get? For B, what do you get? For C, for I got 47 degrees. Okay, so whatever you get, you write in the chat box. Okay, okay. okay. I'll check afterwards. <laughs> Just make the figures and measurements you can write in the chat box later. 
so that we move ahead to the next. Ma'am, for the uh, second one is uh, 180 degrees. Write oh, in the chat box, dear. Write in the chat box. Okay. Please mute. Mama, I sent you. Okay, beta, I'll check. I'll check afterwards, but before, since the time is running out, we must do further. Okay, I'll check your answers. Don't worry. Okay, shall I move ahead? Have you made the pictures? Okay, now coming to this part. Okay, which angle has a larger measure? Now here two angles are made here, A and B. Now first by just your estimate, you have to say which angle is greater, which has a larger measure. And then with your protector, you will measure it. Okay, so for protector, you draw this angle in your notebook and then give your measurement. Now by estimation, what can you say about the angle, Adrit? Which angle is greater, A or B? Yes, Adrit. Yes, ma'am. Which angle is greater in question number one, A or B? Ma'am, I think so, B. Okay, you think B. Okay. And for your exact measurement, what will you do? You will find out with your protector. So quickly make these angles in your notebook. As you can see, both the angles are acute. Okay. One is less and one is greater. So make these angles in your notebook. Mama sent me. Mama sent okay. Yes, thank you. I'll check. Yes, make two angles. On what angles? These angles. Question number five. Okay. Now, just by estimation, you can see that one of the angle is larger. So, which angle is larger? Adrit said angle B is larger. Now, you have to measure, find the measure of angle A and find the measure of angle B. So, this you can do with your protector. Put the center part of your protector at this point. B here, if you are making angle B. Your line should, baseline should coincide with this line and check your angle. Okay, quickly give me the answer of this. Since both are acute angles, okay, this can be clearly seen. Both are acute angles. Both angles are less than 90. Okay. So just by estimation, I'm just writing maybe one angle is 
whatever maybe 60 it looks like 60 degrees you know, check out yes done Sritij. Uh, what is the angle measure of angle a Ma'am, we have to measure from the direct textbook or should we draw it and measure? Ma'am? Hello, ma'am? Ma'am, I sent my answer. Yes, I was asking Sritej, what is the measure of angle A? Yes, tell me Sritej. Ma'am, should we measure directly or should we um, draw it and measure? You can measure directly. How can you measure? Do you have the same book? Uh, Ma'am, now it's not available with me. Huh. So draw it, draw the angle in your notebook and tell me whatever you measure. Ma'am, I got 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay, 45 degrees and 60 degrees. Ma'am, can I tell my answer? Yes, tell. Ma'am, I got 40 and uh, 60. Okay, that's also good. Okay. Now see here, this is again by estimation. Okay, this again you have to make angle and measure the uh, angles here. Okay, this also you can do. Now we'll see this. Fill in the blanks with acute obtuse right and straight angle. Now first one. An angle whose measure is less than that of a right angle is dash. What acute, angle, angle. acute angle. Acute angle. Mama, acute. Acute. Good. An angle, next one. An angle whose measure is greater than that of a right angle. Obtuse angle. Mama, obtuse. Obtuse. Good. Okay, so that's obtuse. Okay, now Adrit will tell me the next. An angle whose measure is the sum of the measure of two right um, angles. Straight angles. Straight angles, great. Okay, next Afan will tell me. When the sum of the measures of two right two angles is that of a right angle, then each one of them is? Acute angle. Acute. Okay, so two acute angles will make a right angle. Okay, next one, Sritij will tell me. Sritage. Ma'am, one minute. Uh -huh. Yes, Sritage, read it and say, tell the answer. When the sum of the measures of two angles is that of a uh, straight angle, and if one of them is acute, uh, then the other should be, ma'am, is it obtuse? Yes, then the other should be obtuse. Okay. Suppose this is a straight angle, straight line. If one angle on this is acute, then other is obviously obtuse. Okay? Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yeah, ma'am. Now, question number eight. This is again, you have to measure with the actual measurement to be done with the protector. Okay? So, now see, uh, this thing, for this, I will give you, uh, I'm giving you a homework. Please note down now. Uh, make, make uh, one acute angle. Note down your homework. One acute angle, one obtuse angle. Okay. One straight angle. One reflex angle. Okay. You have to make one one each. Ma means uh, each kind of things one yes, one. Kind of one one. One acute. Yes. One or two. Okay. Okay. Now see in next one. Question number nine. Find the angle measure between the hands of a clock in each finger. Now you have to tell me the angle. What angle is it making? Now first one. 
Afan will tell me first one which and what angle is made here. Right angle. Right angle. Okay. Next, Adrit will tell me Adrit what angle is here. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, acute. Acute. Okay. Ritej will tell me what angle is here. Ma'am, straight angle. Straight angle. Okay. Okay, now this is again estimation or does the angle become larger? Okay, leave this. Now question number 11. Measure and classify each angle. Now just by estimation you will say now this angle, angle AOB. Angle AOB. If you measure with the protector, you can write your measurement here. Okay, and you can write the type here. Now, angle A, O, B. Clearly, I can see that it is an acute angle. Clearly, I can see. Yes, ma'am. Less than 90 degree. Yes, ma'am. Okay, but ma the measurement I need to do with the protector. So, for the measurement, piece, you can make this figure in your notebook. Okay. Ma 50. Ma 50. 50 degrees. Okay, you can make, make this picture in your notebook, then you can write down the actual measurement. Now, angle AOC. AOC is this angle. So, this is clearly seen that it's greater than 90, so it's obtuse. So, for your exact measurement, you can write here. Check out with your protector, you can write here. Okay, next is angle BOC. B, O, and C. So, B, O, C, I can clearly see that B, D is a straight line here. And this line is standing straight on this. You can check out with your protector that if it is making a right angle here. What? Okay. So, angle B, O, C is right angle. And B, O, C. B, O, C is, if this is right angle, this is again a right angle, other side. Okay. Now tell me what is this angle DOA, Charvik? Angle DOA. Yeah, ma'am. B O or ma'am DOA. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, ma'am reflex angle. Mm -hmm. Is it greater? Than, it is great. Is it greater than one eighty? No. It's um, no. Ma'am, so it can be obtuse. Yes, it's obtuse only. Okay. Mom, actually, it's a uh, downside, no, mom. So it looked no, like no, 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 no. But, but you have to see the angle D, O, and A. That's it. Okay. okay. Right. Now, D, O, B. Afan, D, O, B angle. Mom, it's very easy. Afan. Yeah, mom. Yes, D, O, B angle is what? I didn't get it. What is angle D O B? Uh, D D is like D to O. This is D. This is O. This is D. What is angle D O B? Ma'am, it is a straight angle. Yes, it is a straight angle. Okay. So straight angle measurement we all know 180 degree. This right angle also I we can write here 90. 90 but for other measurements you just find out with the protector okay for the actual exact measurement um, we can write as uh, 150 and 160 yes you can write that that is just my estimation you're saying no? but uh, what my point is that you must uh, learn to practice measures measuring with the protector okay so that's the only thing so for children today's uh, the class time is over Okay, we'll continue tomorrow. Then you are done with this exercise. That's 5.4. Okay. Mom, uh, yes. Mom, I'm actually about homework. Mom, homework is only this much or more? I'll give you more homework. I'll give you some sums for practice. You can check out after some time in the resource. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Thank you for today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mom. Bye. Bye-bye.